Today we are going to be making the famous trick or treat sand mask, so sit back and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, what you're going to need for this project is one of those punching balloons you can find at a dollar store and you're going to also need paper mache paste, which is just water and flour, and um, newspaper shreds. So here what I did was is I got the balloon blue, I blew the balloon up and I set it down, I was having a little bit of a struggle, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to take the paper strip and you're going to put it in your paste and then you're going to get like put it soak it and then get the access off and then you're going to place it around your balloon for about a whole layer to cover the whole balloon up. So here I finished one layer and you're going to want to do about three or four layers. I ended up doing three layers and what I did was is here's me finishing my last layer and I put it in my laundry room to dry which will take about two, two, three days. It doesn't, t it takes a little while for it to dry because it's a lot. And then here's the fully dry. What I did was is I had the balloon and I pushed it in a little just to loosen it up because I thought it would do something, probably doesn't. And then what I ended up doing was cutting a snip out of it and then just deflating it. You could just let it pop, but I don't know. Oh, and you have to hear the sound, it's crazy. So I had it fully deflated and I noticed that it wasn't completely dry. So I'll pull this out and you could see here it wasn't completely dry but in the end it didn't even matter because I had a bunch of layers on it. So it was ended up being fine, it was no big deal in the long run. Now you can see we're outside in my shed, it's very clean. So what you're going to want to do in here, oh look at that. So you're going to take orange spray paint, this is optional but it ended up working perfect at the end product. So I took it and I sprayed the whole thing down. And perfect. Orange ball. And then after it dried, I ended up cutting the head hole because obviously you gotta get your head in there if you're gonna wear it and it doesn't smell the best. I'm gonna let you know that. Here's me just kind of placing it on my head. I don't know what I'm doing. And whammo! You got the perfect mask. Mr. Pumpkinhead coming to get you in a theater near you. So here you can see me. I'm drawing an outline where I'm going to cut the face hole, which... You, in the long run, I didn't really like how it turned out, but it ended up also working fine. It just depends on how good you want it to be because in the end you could see through the burlap but we'll get there when we get there I have two buttons for the eyes and I got this yarn thread stuff that I used to make the sews and what I did was I put it through and then I realized um, I just screwed up these X's are way too small so what I ended up doing was doing it and then I ended up just hot gluing them in an X form on the button since the button holes were not in the right spot, and here you go. Two eyes. Now what I did was is I placed the head on a vacuum so I can get an idea of a stable work spot and get an idea of what it looked like. You're gonna need a bunch of this. I just cut it up into little strips and you're going to need a ton of these. I can't tell you how many I went through, I went through a bunch. What I ended up doing was going down and sewing it and so like this to go down the first stitch down the face which in the, it didn't end up turning out that bad I would have sewed it if I could but I didn't have the proper materials for that but feel free to sew it if you want and for the mouth I ended up doing this swirl pattern but I never ended up 
I took it all off and redid the whole thing because it just turned out way too ugly and I ended up just doing X's on the mouth. I forgot to show it, but here's the finished product. As you can see, I'm glad I painted it orange on the head because you could see through the burlap, which ended up working as well. The only part I didn't like was the face hole in the middle where that black square is, but other than that, I think it turned out pretty awesome. Thank you everyone for watching my video. Feel free to leave a comment down below and subscribe. And everyone, I hope you have a spooky awesome day. Bye! <laughs>